Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the messages coming up for you in the next 48 hours. So what you need to know from Spirit and what you can expect uh, coming up to these next couple of days. So um, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. Uh, it's been a, a wonderful journey to see the channel continuing to grow. So I really just want to say thank you so, so much, everyone, for tuning in, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, or just the odd pop in here and there. It really does mean a lot. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just my way of sort of saying thank you. So if you're out there and you're listening, um, I really do appreciate you doing that. So thank you so much. Um, We'll get straight into it. Now, this can be for any sign watching. It's a collective message. So if you've clicked on it, chances are spirit has pulled you towards uh, this reading for a reason. And there might be something here uh, for you. So let's kick this off and see what are the themes for you uh, in the next 48. Let's go 24 to 48 hours. But I want to specifically focus on the next 48, I think. Um, let's see what's coming up for you. What are the themes? Okay, look. Opulence. Good fortune. And prosperity. Okay, this is really big. I feel like there's a big shift in the air that's taking place here. Let's start off with the opulence card. Now, this is sort of going overboard a little bit. Um, and I actually see there's some plans that will come into place, but I feel like they're unexpected plans. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are getting that very late notice kind of plans. Um, and I feel like it's it's a really, really good time. So it could be like an invitation um, somewhere, but I feel like it's quite extravagant or like the time you're sort of maybe not expecting it to be this extravagant but it actually will be so you know opulence is this kind of energy of things going overboard and and sort of beyond so it could be someone doing something for you here as well i feel like there might be an energy where someone is going above and beyond for you here so sort of i feel like there's a surprise that someone wants to put forward here to you but i feel like i'm, I'm getting everything's it's it's dramatic it's big it's going overboard it's going above and beyond i feel like you might have plans to, to keep things more subtle, but I feel like there's a dramatic shift and it's really going to up the ante here. So I feel like it's you're going to be on your toes here, which is good. It's, it's a nice surprising kind of energy, you know, just roll with it. Sometimes we're taken into this um, taken into this energy for a reason, but I feel like there's a lot of socializing, networking or anything like this going on last minute dates, um, bumping into someone here, you know, catching up. I feel like there's a lot of that um, with the Priestess of Opulence. And the ne next card over you have is the Wheel of, uh, sorry, the Good Fortune card. It kind of reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. We've got a sun, so the sun could be an Aries. The sun is also the self, so I feel like your fortune is going to change, but it's almost like it's a self-made kind of energy. So something you're going to do for yourself or something you, that you do need to do, um, you're going to get it. Notice these spirals, they almost look like a dartboard, right? Like this is like, you're going to hit the nail on the head here. So I feel like you're, you're changing your own fortune, Okay, I'm getting a lot of entrepreneurial activity going on around you here. Uh, now, good fortune can be wealth. It can be success. It can be money. So I feel like anyone out there who's sort of like wanting to sort of um, create that name for themselves or get themselves out there, I feel like this is, this is huge. This next 48 hours is going to be a great way for you to do that. But I get something about targets. The word targets is coming up. So if you've had your eye on a product, if you've been meaning to reach a certain level or target or budget, I feel like that's going to come through for you. Uh, and I also feel like you're going to be celebrating that success. Like I said, the sun is here. The sun can be the self. The sun in the Rider Waite deck is an Aries. Um, now, Aries is a very competitive sign. Aries is the first of the zodiac. So I do think there's something going on here. Either you're becoming single, you're starting a self-business, uh, there's more independence. You might be moving out from the family home. I feel like you're branching out. Okay, this is good. This is what you want. So I feel like there's a first coming. So your first experience at something. Maybe it's the first time. Maybe it's uh, getting a job somewhere. Maybe it's um, leaving the home. It's a first. So something that you haven't done before, you are going to do. So that's pretty exciting. 
and like that upward triangle is fire element so this that's actually aries sag leo but they're all represented by the sun so i feel like that's i feel like that's significant We've got the upward and the downward triangles. Could be an earth energy coming forward here. There might be a Taurus, Capri, or Virgo that somehow shows up and helps with this, helps you, helps turn your fortune around somehow. So that's going to change. And you have prosperity. Okay. Now, there's something really nice that comes from this, but the opulence and the prosperity are both upside down. So this is a bit of a topsy-turvy kind of energy. Overall, looking at these three cards, I feel like there is something that's going to be turned on its head or you're going to be seeing things from a different angle, but it's almost like things are tipped. Now, yeah, when I see that prosperity, it's lots of reds. So again, strong fire energy, the upward triangle. Um, again, that target. Look, I do feel like... Uh, Prosperity and lust are somehow linked. We've got the pomegranate fruit. Now, she represents fertility. Okay, some of you, there's like someone very wealthy. Okay, they're successful. They're attractive. There's kind of like wealth and love are mixing together. Business and pleasure are mixing together somehow. Wouldn't be surprised if some of you were hooking up with someone you work with. Um, could be like a boss. It, it's, it's a prestigious kind of energy next to this person. So they've got money. Okay, or you're hanging around in circles where you're being introduced to people who are very ambitious, they're affluent, old money, new money, entrepreneur, self-made. This this is, you're hanging out with a different kind of group. Or it's like spirit is trying to lead you to these kind of people. You've been attracting it. So in some level, you've been either attracting a person with a lot of wealth, a person who's got the same mindset. There's something for you to learn. You know, we don't get things for nothing. Like these things aren't popped up to us from the universe for no for, for no reason. They come for a reason. So you, it's up to you, my lovelies, to decide what like what is this reason. You know, I'm getting a lot of exploration. So go out of your comfort zone. Go out of your comfort zone here because I feel like there is a connection with the person here. Pomegranate fruit can be like fecundity and fertility. So you're planting the seeds. Um, could be a conception for some of you, but I feel like. You're planting the seeds and it's very, very early days. It's very, very early starts, but it's all sort of coming together here for you. So, you know, I really like what that represents um, here for you. But this is big. I keep getting targets. Look at all these spirals. And it's like hitting, hitting the target. Almost resembles a clock here. Okay, we've got phases of the moon as well as this cancer energy. Um, now, cancer energy is a very romantic energy. I'm getting some kind of grand gesture that someone will want to do for you. Now, cancer holds on to the past. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone from your past that's returning. And they're, they're trying to get something from you. They're trying to access something from you. But I feel like they know you've sort of maybe pushed them away or you're a little bit um, you're a little bit unsure about how to treat them, right? And they know that. So this is why I feel like they've conjured up some sort of plan to get you back or to bring you back that opportunity or get you back um, working for them again. I feel like it's it's not entirely solely for their benefit. Um, but look, I'm not going to lie. I do feel like there's someone here who has an ulterior motive. They're, they're, they're coming up from the past energy I'm also getting a particular time around the past because it almost like this star pentacle, almost looks like a clock. So these next 48 hours, there's this, uh, some of you have like a significant date or something like um, you might have would have celebrated your anniversary in a relationship or you were going to move in with someone at this time or um, something very particular that was going to happen. It's sort of like a coulda, shoulda, woulda moment, or it's something that was supposed to happen at this time, but it's somehow shifted to your past now. So you had plans, but these plans were pushed back. So, um, oh, I don't know. If someone is coming back from the past, um, pay attention to the date or the time that they're coming back because I feel like it's auspicious. I feel something is... um. 
something is connected here. I'm just shuffling my other cards. But something is, yeah, something is connected to the past and divine timing. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is this is a very important next 48 hours coming up for you. Uh, and something quite significant. Uh, it's rolling up here for you. I mean, it's exciting, yes. But I'm getting past vibes. Past vibes coming up for a lot of you. Hmm... Okay, let's see. Let's see what else is going to play out. What else does Spirit want you to know? Okay, Nine of Swords with the Page of Swords. There's been something on your mind. But it's coming to an end. I'm seeing an ending here. We have endings and new beginnings. Okay. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands with all this fire energy. I'm getting a booty call. Okay. Fire is a very attractive energy. But, you know, Ace of Wands, initiative is required. Yes, but I'm also getting... Okay, interesting that Cancer energy has come up. Full is Aries. So strong Aries in Cancer. If you're dealing with one of these signs, this person is like thinking about you. They're trying to channel your energy. They're trying to connect. Um, okay. Let me... Let me assess what's going on here. Okay. I'm getting there's a certain situation that some of you have been in that has to come to an end. I don't know if you're thinking about putting something to an end. I don't know if your friends or your family are telling you to put something to an end. It's like there's something here. It's probably not the healthiest. I'm getting this dramatic, like, going overboard with something. And it's like, it's too much already. It's in excess. Either it could be you. It could be someone who's very closely next to you, like a lover. Um, you know, someone that's in your life a lot. But it's, it's obviously someone that's you're, you're thinking about. You know, you either care very much for this person. It's something that you're witnessing or it's happening to you. Um, but something has to end. I mean, it could be some, there could be a situation where there's someone here who's using you maybe for their physical pleasure. Like, look at that Ace of Wands. It's a strong phallic symbol here. Now, yes, we've got lust and sexuality and passion. Um, it's a divine masculine energy. So some of you might have a DM who is who is taking advantage here. Okay, they're crossing the line maybe a little bit. Now it could be it could be a feminine energy that's it could be a feminine person with a lot of masculine energy. Like you know, you meet this uh, people and some people are like, okay, they identify as female, but they've just got this masculine energy, you know. Um, or someone might ident identify as male, but they've got a lot of feminine energy. It's just, you know, it's their makeup, it's their nature, it's their astrology. But look, I do feel like there's a divine masculine who is, and like, notice these ladies, they've got their legs open. So it might be a situation where you sort of opened yourself up to someone all right be it physically or like you've opened your heart you've opened your time somehow you've opened yourself to this person but i feel like they've either introduced you to a new world or like everything they do is like super dramatic or super ex like in excess and it's almost like you either need to slow down or things need to come to a stop now the nine is an ending um it's a very powerful um it's a very powerful ending and i feel like it could be around an air sign here gemini libra libra aquarius but like the page of swords page of swords is like there's something that has to stop but like you don't know how to say it you're either not feeling confident that you can approach this person or if you feel like you say anything they're going to want to end things could be in a relationship contract whatever you're dealing with it's another energy so it's another person now could be spirit you know it's hard to distinguish but i feel like what i'm seeing here let let's clarify 
because I'm, I'm getting confused now. Is this a mental thing that you need to like, do you need to stop thinking a certain way? Is that the ending that needs to happen? Or you need to tell someone that you want to end something like an ending needs to happen somehow. What is this page and nine of swords saying? Okay, birds and messengers could be a Gemini. But is it a physical thing or a mental thing? Okay. I'm getting it's a physical thing more than mental. I was actually thinking for a moment it could have been a mental thing. Like you needed to stop thinking in an unhealthy way. But looking at this, I actually feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here, the world, this is a cycle. You've been in the cycle before, so some of you have been in the situation, it's not new, and it's like you have to put an end to it. There's, There might be like a cycle you have to break, or like universe wants you to break it next 48 hours, there might be an opportunity that could pop up for you to sort of break that cycle. And then it's sort of, you know, telling you to be like... You have to be the one to take initiative because it's it's arousal. It's upright, it's erect. So you have to be the one to sort of stand up and end that. It could be with this person that might be just moving things along physically rather than emotionally. Um, but I feel like you've tried to build something with this person or this other energy. Three of Pentacles is telling me you've tried to make things work. We've got the wall. Could be a third party coming into the picture here. Or there's like another priority, something else that's happening in your life, either for them or for you. And it's almost like they keep running to the other priority. And it's like over the top. It doesn't need to be that way. They sort of make it that way. So they could be spinning a little a little bit of this. Um, and we've got the serpent. Serpent can be... Um, we've got... A few serpents, actually. So the spirit might be warning you that this person may not have your best interest at heart. You know, serpents are cunning. Um, they do represent shedding of layers, um, regeneration, but they can represent things like deceit here as well. So I feel like you've got to be careful. It's almost like a warning. You might see someone's true colors. Maybe that's what spirit's trying to say. Okay, Ace of Wands, there is a physical, something physical happening. Could be a physical move, becoming physical with someone for the first time. This is someone new that could also be coming in. Um, like I said, I picked up a strong Aries. You have the Fool next to the Ace of Wands. Again, there's lots of birds, so I'm getting a lot of communication. Some of you might be starting to talk to someone, and they'll keep... They'll keep messaging, they'll keep reaching out, they'll keep trying to communicate because there's something that they want to say to you. So, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a strong vibe in that sense. Um, with the fool, but I get it, I'm getting a naive kind of energy. Someone's being naive in this situation here. Um, notice how the fool is turned away from the Ace of Wands. You might be turning away from a new opportunity you might not see it or you might be in a third party uh, or you might be just too consumed you know doing doing that thing for yourself doing you focusing on self-empowerment focusing on being self-made um the ace of wands isn't a bad thing um i just think it's driven by attract attraction and lust mm. Could be that you see something and it looks very attractive on the inside, but behind closed doors, when you really sort of sit down and look at the situation, or once you experience it, you'll be like, wow, okay, this isn't as glamorous as I thought it would be. I don't know if this is this new crowd, this new world. You might be part of something different here um, that you've never sort of been a part of. Um, but it's coming up, definitely. Okay, the Chariot and this Queen of Cups is a strong water energy, in particular strong Cancer. Cancer, yes, with the Chariot. Um, it could be the past. There's something, there's some sort of movement happening in your past, either leaving behind the past or the past returning. The Queen of Chalices is love and she sort of rides the wave and she's being like, 
I almost getting like the water waves of love that again are, are flowing and they're they're reaching new heights they're rising notice this rise that we see this is something that's being activated now queen of cups to me is strong uh, divine feminine energy ace of wands is strong divine masculine energy so you might be dealing with this okay there could be a if you're a divine femme there's a divine masculine coming in a divine masculine there's a divine femme i'm getting a counterpart and they balance each other out but something separates them the past or foolishness lack of awareness lack of direction not knowing what you want or this person not knowing what they want but also their past lovers flames trauma whatever this is is potentially blocking you because you could be together but i'm getting that these two things are separating you right now because we've got the moon and you've got the sun it's like okay this is what am i getting i'm getting something is coming in between you and i think it's one of these two things could be both I'm getting that you both have the capacity to love each other, but you don't know how to do it because there's still there's still some learning um, that you have to do. And I feel like it is the fall in the chariot. They are connected to each other. You have the Page of Pentacles and he presents an offer. I feel like there's Page of Pentacles is like reeks of potential. So something about potential is coming up. I don't know if you need to end. Maybe you need to end speaking to an ex to clear the air for this new person. I don't know if you need to like disassociate with a certain group of people. There's something from your past that isn't sort of helping you proceed into your future. And it's like you have to go through this to see the newness. I definitely feel like there is an energy where there's a person around you who's taking advantage um, of your emotional kindness. Like I said, they're coming up as a fire energy. Uh, they could be someone fairly new that you know in your life maybe, but you know what, just, just be mindful because you've got good fortune and I swear, you know, when, when things go good for you, like, okay, you've, you've settled down, you've got that dream partner, you, you, you're earning more money. You're going to have a lot of people around you, a lot more people around you, people that are inspired by you, people that envy you, people that want in on that success, people that want to uplift you. I think you've got to figure out who's genuine and who's not. There'll be a line drawn in the sand and I think you'll see some distinction um, probably in the next 48 hours. Um, but I also feel like if, you know, it could just be your energy. Like when you're doing good, you lift your vibration and suddenly you're in a different space, you know. Suddenly your mood's lifting. Um, suddenly you're meeting better people. Good days get better, bad days get worse. Like we are all energy. And I think you're riding high. Okay, this, this notion of rising, you're, you're actually lifting your vibration. And spirit wants you to end some things because they're no longer going to click or align with what you've got going on. And this is why I feel like these next 48 hours could be crucial. Um, crucial into that situation. Let's get it. Let's get a couple more cards to clarify. Okay, seven. We've got the Knight of Chalices and Seven of Pentacles. There's something you've been waiting on that I think is definitely going to manifest here for you. Um, seven of Pentacles is like being it's it's been a long time coming, and I feel like again this circles back to planting the seeds or starting something here, something being in its early stages. Could be romantic could be something internal, uh, whatever it is, could be with an earth sign, Taurus, Capi, Virgo, but that seven of pentacles is facing the night, it almost like face each other, I'm getting a completely different message here that universe wants you to wait for a particular person, I don't know, this just came out of the blue, um, I don't know if this is patience, it's like you need patience 
in a certain situation or you need to believe in someone but it's almost like you need to be patient for results okay there's definitely this wave this wave of emotion i'm getting like a hyper sensitivity that's coming up around you emotionally speaking so emotions are running high i think your thoughts are in overdrive i think like you're gonna dial it up a notch these next 48 hours like things aren't gonna be dim and bleak and blunt i feel like things are happening and they're happening like with with the volume cranked up like there's no subtlety there's no subtlety things are out there things are really on a high level i hope that makes sense i hope i'm making sense but you'll see it and that shift is taking place you have the world and the wheel of fortune that's saying a lot okay that's your world is changing and the way you see things changing and the wheel of fortune this is being a very this is a being a very divine time uh in your life or where you're at so you know spirit it's almost like spirit is giving you some encouragement here so i i do like what this represents but we don't always know what to do with that with that full energy but like internally spiritually emotionally i don't know if you've been doing some work if you've been focusing on yourself like it's paying off whatever it is you've been doing or working with it's seriously paying off here for you so you know i'm excited i feel like it's it's super uplifting and i feel like there's this shift um that you're gonna be embarking on so yeah it looks really really nice um really beautiful but i'm gonna leave it at that so thank you again everyone so so much for watching and supporting the channel it really does mean a lot um if you were after a private reading please email me and we can go and arrange that for you of course they are subject to availability so feel free to shoot me over an email and i'll let you know what my schedule is looking like and how you can arrange that otherwise don't forget to drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it um, it really does mean a lot to me, um, everyone, that you're here. So thank you so, so much. Uh, I am sending you lots of love and angel blessings. And hopefully we'll be in touch very, very soon. So thanks again, everyone. And bye for now.